the Atlanta Falcons, 7-9 last year. Division championship odds, plus 320. Their strength of schedule, fourth toughest schedule projected in the league. Turnover margin, they were 15th plus one, which is pretty good. Head coach Dan Quinn, he will be uh, calling plays on defense this year. He didn't like what happened the last couple of years. But it, since he's been in Atlanta, they haven't really had a good defense anyway. Yeah, um, they've struggled on defense. Yeah, They've oh, got a lot of talent on defense, though. Yeah, they do. They, they should do. be better. Uh, now, of course, along with that, I mean, they were the eighth most injured defense in the league last year, fifth most injured secondary in the league, and that did not help things. Um, over under is nine to go over is plus one Oh five to go under is minus minus one twenty five. The offense was number four in yards per play last year, 6.2 yards per play. They averaged that was under Steve Sarkeesian who they let go. Uh, they have hired in offense coordinator, Dirk Cutter. Part of that reason is while, while you think, Oh, number four in yards per play, that's pretty good, right? They were a, a top 10 offense. Overall last year, but they were the 28th most efficient offense inside the 10, the 31st most efficient offense inside the five. Uh, Dirt Cutter. They move the ball between the 20s pretty easily. Yes. Dirt Cutter needs to target Julio Jones more in the red zone. Period. Hey, I have a dude that's really big and really tall and really um, athletic and really fast. And don't even have him out there on some place. Yeah. They, they the targeted zone, they, him. They, they put him on the bench. He had three catches on seven targets inside the 10. They ran 73 plays inside the 10. It's, and they it's, only targeted it's him It's criminal seven times. what they've done to it's him. Just now, insane. I know the love is his overreaction because the first eight games, he had zero touchdowns. And that's criminal. Yeah. Second eight games, they did lead the league in touchdowns. Yeah. So... Total yards per play on defense, uh, number 27. They gave up 6.0 yards per play. Again, like I said, eighth most injured defense, fifth most injured secondary. They face four of the probable top 10 passing efficiency offenses. They need the pass rush to improve. Uh, look, this schedule is just ridiculously difficult. We said the over-under is nine. They are a projected favorite in only six games. I like the Falcons. I think they will get better. Dirt Cutter... The last time that he was actually calling plays, number 24 in red zone efficiency. Now, I know that that's weird. You can't really compare him because he was at Tampa Bay. But just looking on pure raw numbers, it's not a big improvement, right? So we'll see because they, they haven't had any problem moving between the 20s like we talked about. So we'll see if they can get better when they are in scoring position. Uh, I've got this team at 8-8. Eight and eight. I know that the schedule is hard. I think that they are insanely talented. I think the pass rush uh, will be better this year. I, I like Atlanta, but I've got them at 8-8. Eight eight. I think this division is better. I, I think the schedule is hard. I don't know that I'm sold on on a lot of the the talent. Like, like Matt Ryan's is a good quarterback. Nobody's going to deny that. He had an amazing MVP season with Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. It's never come close to replicating that after that. Is he a product of what Kyle was? I think I think there's some truth to that. Maybe. And I I just I think this team's gonna take a step backwards from last year. I that, think that makes me wonder six and ten. That makes me wonder what you're gonna think of San Francisco when we do that tomorrow. And then well, I mean nothing too crazy, I assure you that. But like <laughs> here's here's the deal on and I could be way wrong. There's there's uh, you know, obviously sports analysts. We listen to a lot of other podcasts and, and sports radio. A guy that I like to listen to, I mean, he, has, he has the Falcons picked as his Super Bowl contender for and the for There's the some NFC. teams that I, and, and I, some guys and I think that. six and six, and I kind of was like, maybe I'll go seven and nine because I value this guy's opinion and I could be a game off. And I can't see nine and seven. I can't see ten and six. I just... it's I've, I've got eight and eight, and, and that... Maybe Dirk Cutter as an offensive mind does not scare me. No. I I, I really I value say, you know, Dan Quinn as a head coach when he got the job. And I think he's a stable guy, and I think he's always going to be around that seven and nine, eight and eight, nine and seven guy. But I don't know that I don't know that he's anything really to be feared either. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this. We talked about the Falcons being number four in yards per play. Number two was Dirk Cutter's team. Yes. Tampa Bay. And, but and but it doesn't take into effect yards per play doesn't analyze picks 
It, it doesn't analyze the because efficiency. Because it just it just calls that. it calls an interception an incompletion. Like Basically. my guy didn't catch the ball when we threw it. Well, that's, and that's all it does. But that's but, why we bring up turnover margin, et cetera. That's right. right. Because they, the three, in Tampa Bay, they yeah. they have a lot of yards. But Fitz and 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 Jameis threw the ball like crazy. The Sometimes three biggest, it went to the other well, team. The two biggest indicators for wins in the NFL are turnover margin, correct, and um, uh, early down success rate, correct, right. And and they were good on early downs, but just when you get into the red zone, they were a travesty last yeah. year. They just field goal glory. They yeah. can't they can't punch it in. You got that right. All right, moving on. 